Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from DP Clubs. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to DP Clubs. So first thing is a frame. So this is a magnetic frame. I was trying to find the link. I was like, I see the link. So this is magnetic frame on DP Clubs. You could get it as a black, red, gold, silver, and dark blue. This is the silver one. These things must have been really popular because I clicking my link and it says it's sold out. So it's five dollars and twenty nine cents on the website. So it's this frame here and the back here is actually adhesive so my plan is to put this on a either on some foam board or a blank canvas and you're supposed to be able to adhere this to I'm, try I'm trying to see if i could yeah see it's it's a sticker here so it's sticky here and it's there's like magnets here, so you should be able to slip the diamond painting in there, and now it's framed. So I'll show at the end of the video me framing something. Hopefully, one of the other diamond paintings that's one of the diamond paintings that's in this, but if not, something else that's finished. So yeah, this is supposed to be for a 30 by 40 or a 25 by 35. So I think the inside. Yeah, the inside is 25 by a little bit less than 35. So, so there's this one. All right, so next time painting. I can see what it is on the outside. So it was like, okay, I know where my link is, which is my link. So this one is a special shape diamond painting. It's $5.79 on the site. Excuse me if you hear my air conditioning go on. It's a little warm today. So um, ordinary toolkit. These are special drills. And here it is. It's a peacock. It looks like a peacock. It might. It looks a little busy right now with all the symbols. So hopefully when the drills on it are on it, it will look a little less busy. But yep, I have done many peacock diamond paintings. So there are 10 colors. There is a crystal code on these and all the symbols are symbols. So looking at it, it looks pretty clear. I don't see I don't th see anything that would make it hard to read other than the fact that they're all symbols. So this is, did I say it was $5.79 on the site? Maybe. It's picture size is 33 and a half by 24. So if I were to frame this on here, it might be a tad bit too small so I'll have to I'll have to put like a border a little bit of a border around it so you can't see too much of the rest of it so yeah so let's look at the drills here so some teardrops, some smaller teardrops, some red bigger drills, and then now these look like the regular size drills. So some purple, blue, green, pink, and a lot of clear. I didn't realize there was this much clear on this one, but there's a lot of clear. And this is a yellow AB, but it's one of those rounded AB, so it doesn't have any facets. Right. 
Next diamond painting. Let's do this one. I didn't actually check what these were before, so which one is this one? Okay. It's This one is also $5.79 on the website as of today when I'm post recording this, which is the end of June. So Ordinary Toolkit. These are round drills. And it's these ladybugs with some sunflowers. I actually think this looks like it would turn out really nice. And then there's even like the little like... What they call it? Flannel? I don't know if it's flannel. <laughs> you know, the, the table cloth. See, now I'm trying to think what plaid? Plaid? Table cloth? You know, that looks, that looks like, that looks like it'll turn out nice here. So, so there's 24 colors. All the symbols are letters. And symbol f I think looks looks nice looks nice so yes let's look at the colors so where's the starting point so some brown, green, maroon, more brown, some yellows. I really, I, I don't know. I feel, you know, I never really knew what my favorite flower was before until I started diamond painting. And I could tell from which pictures I pick what probably is my favorite flower. It would probably be either sunflowers or, I don't know, these kind of look sunflowery, or tulips. Because those are the ones that I'm drawn to getting. So. But yep, nope, never thought of what is my favorite flower? Nope, never one of my. One of, never one of the things I think about asking myself. So I don't think I measured this. So this one is close to 25 by 34 and a half. All right. Next one. Which one is this one? Okay. It's, it's, this one is also $5 and 79 cents. Was everything I got in this in this video five dollars and seventy nine cents? No, the frame was five dollars and twenty nine cents. Okay, so these is ordinary toolkits, except there's a couple baggies, and this is different. The drills are in these little individual packs here. Don't normally get those for these kind of pictures. So here it is. It's this. I don't know, bird, dove? Is it a dove? Pigeon? Pigeon. Sending a letter here. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm, it, I'm not sure if the writing will turn out, but I think the rest of it will turn out nice here, hopefully. So there are 20 colors. Their symbols are all letters here. And drill field. I think looks fine. So this is Let's see. 24 and a half by 34 and a half. I'm not going to take out all the drills. I'm just going to hope that they're all in here. <laughs> like, even if you took this out, can you really do inventory? You don't know how many you need of each one. There's an, is there an inventory sheet here? 
no inventory sheet. So yeah, these are the ones, like each of these are supposed to have about 200 drills. And you know what? I just realized this thing does not have the item number, so I should put in the item number in case, you know, which is a very big possibility, these things get separated. A1937. And I'm just putting in the number that's right here. On, you know, on the off chance these get separated because they are. I usually put, I usually store my canvases and my drills separately. So that's the last one I'm showing for this unboxing. Let me move you a little bit up. Oh, you can see the side of my table. <laughs> Here I got this one. That one. I have the silver frame here and I have the peacock so that is all for now hopefully I'll finish something I'm pretty sure I'll do the peacock the others I might kit up but my I might just save it for my mom to do but we will see all right I'll see you later so I'm back and this one is done here this is a peacock diamond painting so Huh, I must have not measured it. Sometimes I do things, I forget to do things. So 34 by 24. So 24 by 34. So it's a 24 by 34 with 10 colors. One is an AB, six are crystal rhinestones and three specials. And I thought, Everything was fine. It was all symbols. And this took me three hours and 59 minutes to complete. So yeah, you're thinking it's a partial. It should take like two hours at most. Nope. Almost four hours for this one. And maybe it's because I tried to put more drills than it asked for. So I did like over here at the bottom here, there's a whole bunch of parts on there where it's just like a bunch of circles. And then there was there was a space for a drill in there and the original plan was to put the drills of the regular size in there but i have so many spare drills that i went through my stash and picked up a couple of the big ones so i added these yellow ones and then i think these blue ones were not part of it because i think the only one that was the only big special was this big red one so i was like okay what other colors of these big ones do i have so i had the blue one I don't think I had an equivalent green and yellow one, so I just got some of the green and yellow ones that don't really completely match because they're faceted while these are the dome drills, but it works out. And then I also added more of this outline yellow drill because they weren't all outlined. There was a couple ones like, here's the, here's the picture here. See, like these weren't outlined in yellow. That one was not outlined in yellow. The, yeah, and then like that one wasn't outlined in yellow. So I outlined them in yellow. So like these ones weren't originally outlined in yellow and I outlined them in yellow just because, I don't know, I like everything to kind of match. <laughs> so yeah, that was my main thing for this one here. Otherwise, I didn't finish any of the other diamond paintings, but I figure we will test out this here. So, so my plan for this was to put it on a stretched canvas here. You know what, before I do that, going to get my cutting mat here and let's cut out the peacock here. And got my blade here while well, I should. Okay, so because it's not a full drill one, I can't just put it directly next to the drills. I have to 
pulled it down there. Just have to line it up. So I've, I think I've gotten pretty good at using this <laughs> safely where I remember to close it. Don't do as I do. Um, so yeah, remember to close the cutter when not in use because the fact that this can cut through this so easily means this is sharp. And I haven't had to replace the blade yet, and I have cut uh, several diamond paintings on it, so I'm happy because I don't have a replacement blade yet. So I don't think the replacement blades are that expensive. And I think I could just get them from Joann's or something if I wanted to. All right. So. There's that, oh. and because I put this in my journal, so to finish my journal, my wide tape because I think this is wide yeah a wide tape and I keep the legends on the off chance that I see something missing and then I feel like fixing it because <laughs> that second part does not always happen I'm just like oh look there's something missing that's nice <laughs> It's happened to me a couple times. Or like, oh, there's something missing. Ah, I'm too lazy to go get go to my stash and and fix it. All right. So there's this here. I don't know if you could hear it, but my rice cooker is beeping because it is a done cooking rice for lunch because it's lunchtime soon for me. Okay, I'm gonna use, oh, I have, this is just a blank stretch canvas. This is a 12 by 16 inch frame one. Oh, and that's the closest to the 30 by 40 size in the US. So, and this thing has this just trying to see where it's easier for me to peel back the paper. It's on and I'm just eyeballing it there. And I'm putting it on the stretch canvas because I am I have zero plans to put this directly on my wall. So <laughs> So, there's that, and so it's a little smaller, it's a little smaller than the opening here. So, need a little bit of tape. Where's the beginning? There it is. So add some tape to the top here. Yep, I recommend cutting double-sided tape instead of ripping it because it's hard to peel it off when you rip it instead of cutting it. I mean, when instead of cut um instead of cutting it, instead of ripping it. No. Nope. 
trying to center it. Nope. I apparently am bad at centering things, and this is why I shouldn't do this on camera. <laughs> but in case you're bad at doing this too, you're not alone. Okay, so I centered it up and down, but not left and right, so it's a little bit... Move it more that way. It's it's hard to see it being completely centered because... There. That's probably as good as you're going to get. And oh wait, I think this, from my previous time I've gotten this similar frame, there was a plastic over here. Okay, there is. There's a plastic on this one. So... There. Yeah, no, that will stay. So the previous time I got this kind of frame, it was rumpled from shipping and it didn't stay straight down, but this one is got to me really nicely. So it, it actually worked out really nice on this one. So, so yeah, there's that. So that's all I have to show. So thank you to thank you to DP Clubs for sending this item for review and the other items. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.